hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and today in this video we are understand about the vfd working by the vfd working block diagram here total uh, one uh, eight uh, parameter are drawn in vfd working block diagram so first ac drive convert constant voltage and frequency into the dc voltage and then these dc voltage are converted into the variable uh, three phase alternating ac voltage okay for that the uh, uh, what are the equipment are required and what are the steps are uh, carried out in the vfd is shown here in the vfd working block diagram first is the input three phase supply the first here you are uh, seeing is the ryb input three phase uh, supply for uh, 15 volt the second is the input chalk for filter in normal motor output chalk also required but if the motor is the inverter duty then the output chalk not required but if the motor distance and vfd distance is more than 100 meter then the output chalk also installed at the output side of the motor okay then these uh, filter uh, uh, three phase ac voltage are going at the third block rectifier circuit in the rectifier circuit uh, there is a total six number uh, uh, diode your thyristor your uh, silicon control rectifier scr are is installed okay these uh, bridge rectifier uh, circuit are convert uh, three phase ac supply into the dc supply and then these dc supply are uh, forward to the fourth block and for fourth block is the filter circuit <coughs> the filter circuit and the value of this dc voltage is root to into line to line voltage so it's a 1.414 into 440 is equal to 622 DC link voltage and this DC link voltage are also available on the VFD and we can measure also this DC link on the VFD okay now the filter in filter circuit chalk and capacitor are used for filter purpose and uh, chalk and capacitor are filter the harmonics and uh, uh, unnecessary the uh, AC AC supply which has comes into the DC supply and uh, filter circuit are bypass all the harmonics and give the smooth filter DC supply at the uh, uh, fifth block and now the filter DC voltage are given to the inverter section in inverter section as shown here in block diagram inverter section has a total six switching devices inverter section consists six switching devices and these devices may be the igbt mosfet thyristor but in most of the case the igbt is used the igbt is used because of the igbt has a high switching speed okay the igbt is used because it has a high switching speed and igbt can on and off in the thousand times in a second due to this we can easily convert dc voltage into the ac voltage the igbt can turn on in less than 400 nanosecond turn on and off in less than 400 nanosecond the positive sine wave is generated by switching on a positive sine wave is generated by switch on igbt connected to the positive value of the dc link voltage same negative sine wave is generated by the igbt connected to the negative value of the converter dc voltage by help of igbt dc voltage is converted into variable three phase ac voltage with variable frequency so here we are shown the igbt is converted dc voltage into the variable ac voltage now in the the six number is the control circuit igbt switch on and off is managed by control section here trigger card interface card and uh, uh, interface card and control card is mounting all signal line encoder feedback speed up down reference is come in interface card then go to the control card finally control three by jc voltage supply to the motor the seventh is the three phase jc supply and eight is the encoder feedback signal 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो